This program will make sure that you are able to work with net force in two dimensions. So in this program, you will get three forces that are pulling on an object, and you need to determine the net force. So what you want to do is take each of the three forces and break it up. So we'll take the green one first, and we break it up into a horizontal force and a vertical force. We do this by simply getting the angle, and since it's at a 340 degree angle, that means that this angle in here is 20, 20 degrees below the 360 line. Our hypotenuse is 32 newtons. So what we do is we take those two things, we use some trig, and we get the force in the x, which is to the right, and the force in the y, which is going down. We then work with the red force. Okay, this is 58 newtons. Again, we break it up into a vertical part and the horizontal part. This time the angle is at 125. We would subtract that from 90 and we get a 35 degree angle. We have 35 degrees, we have 58 for our hypotenuse. So again, we find the force in the x and we find the force in the y. This time the x is heading to the left and the y is heading up. Finally, we do the same thing with the blue. We find the horizontal part. We find the vertical part. 30 is the hypotenuse. It tells us that our angle is 201. So that is 21 degrees past the 180 mark. We use that to get the force in the X and the force in the Y. And once we have all of our components, we notice that the green force is to the right. So we take that force X and we subtract from that the force X from the red and the force X from the blue because they're both going to the left. Then for the Y direction, we have force Y from the red going up. We have force Y from the green going down and we have the Y part of the blue force also going down. So we get our total X force and our total Y force. Once we have the total force in each direction, we get the net force by combining them together. So we take our total X force, our total Y force, we complete the triangle, we use our knowledge of geometry to find the hypotenuse. That will be the total net force in magnitude. Then we use our trigonometry to get the angle, and that will make it into a vector by telling us what direction it is pointing.